though General Song remains at large. The dramatic capture tonight of Ace of Clubs, Dung Huang Bo by AN troops must be considered a huge victory for the Allies. In a statement released earlier this evening, the President congratulated the Commando Unit Task Force 724 for the success of their daring raid on Huang Bo's base of operations here at Song Tower. Chinese troops, meanwhile, assaulted, then secured the deepwater port of Nam Po. With a steady stream of armoured infantry pouring through the port city, the Chinese presence in North Korea appears destined to grow in the days and weeks to come. Reporting live from the smouldering ruins of the once imposing Song Tower, this is Adriana Livingston for GSRN. Another high-ranking official in the deck of 52 was captured last night after a tense battle with AN forces. General Chin Chang, also known as the Ace of Diamonds, one of General Song's senior military aides, oversaw the daily operation of the weapons testing island you see behind me. His capture, however, by no means ends the very real nuclear threat still posed by General Song. In other news, armored Chinese divisions continue to advance and secure territory from Nampo to Heiju. Once again, reporting live from the contaminated Kurando Island, this is Adriana Livingston for GSRN. Following tonight's capture of Ace of Hearts General Chul Kang, AN forces unearthed a startling discovery. A secretly recorded videotape intended for distribution amongst only the highest echelon of Song's army. One of the tape's more shocking moments occurs when Song makes a passing reference to his father, President Choi Kim. AN analysts are examining the tape, hoping it may provide clues to Song's whereabouts. Rock formations seen in the background and accumulation of snow indicate that Song is currently holed up in the northwest province of the country, near the Chinese border. In other recent developments, the Chinese prevailed in a fierce battle today with a North Korean armored division outside of Taejon. With the increase in their military might, the Chinese have also engaged the South Koreans in a series of skirmishes threatening to engulf the region in open war. From Kumjangni, this is Adriana Livingston for GSRN. The unthinkable has happened. As I speak, at least five nuclear missiles are in the air and appear to be heading straight for Beijing. Oh, God, it, it, it's too horrible. Those people, all those innocent people. Reports from Pyongyang indicate North Korean military forces have staged a violent coup. The Royal Australian Navy intercepted a North Korean freighter. Authorities alerted after uncovering a cache of nuclear warheads in the ship's cargo bay. The warheads were intended for sale to known terrorist elements. Troops poured across the DMZ and into North Korea, intent on dislodging the newly installed regime of General Song. The president today reaffirmed the need for this peacekeeping mission. The general posted bounties today for the latest deck of 52. <laughs> Could we have the lights off, please? Lights off, please. Thank you. <coughs> All right, Fiona, what have you got for us? Thanks. OK, well, today the board is voting on the Sung Initiative. This is an unparalleled financial opportunity for Exops, but it's high risk. North Korea is a quagmire, the Allies are stuck in it, and it's all because of this man here. Yes, we've been discussing this. Couldn't this force us into a, I don't know, a moral position? I mean, the guy's evil. He capped his own father after the coup. The media are all over it. Anyone operating in this theater is going to be famous. Maybe, but we're proposing sending in a single operative, low profile. And remember, North Korea is in total chaos. There's press on the ground, sure, but our agent could level half the country and no one would have any idea we were there. Got it. Mm -hmm. There's more. Apart from the hundred million for Sung, there's a significant bounty for every member of the deck of 52, especially if they're taken alive. Uh, does that say businessmen? Well, counterfeiting, slave trading, if you call that business, these guys are businessmen. 
To sum up, we insert a single agent to go after the bounties. We can do something the Allies can't, work directly with factions on the ground to gather hard intel on the deck of 52. Oh, come on, Fiona. The AN have never been shy about... Dealing with the Russian Mafia? Not with GSRN reporters everywhere. Listen, by working with the factions, we can take Sung's power base apart from the bottom up. Sung's gone into hiding, but if anyone knows where he is... It's his lieutenants. Got it, got it. Fiona, you make a compelling case. I think I know which way the board will go, but I have one more question. We're basically relying on a single agent here. Do you have someone in mind? Yes, I do. I believe I have the perfect candidate. Above the war-torn landscape of North Korea, where a crisis of global proportions has been averted. Ladies and gentlemen, I have confirmation now that the nuclear warheads have detonated harmlessly in the upper atmosphere. I repeat, the nuclear warheads are no longer a threat. The nuclear fallout will be blown out to sea. But sadly, for the people of North Korea, the fallout from this crisis will continue for years to come. This is Adriana Livingston reporting live for GSRN. Are we back? Factional violence continues to rock Pyongyang with little regard for AN authority. With Chinese forces now firmly in control, one fears that the worst has not yet passed for the people of North Korea. For GSRN, this is Kyle Kowakian. It's just awful. Reports are streaming in at least 100,000 dead, possibly more. Beijing has been absolutely devastated, burned to the ground. Witnesses report several craters miles wide and hundreds of feet deep. I I I'm getting a message. We're going to have to evacuate this area. The danger even here is too great. This is Adriana Livingston reporting live for GSRN. Are we back? Factional violence continues to rock Pyongyang with little regard for AN authority. With Chinese forces now firmly in control, one fears that the worst has not yet passed for the people of North Korea. For GSRN, this is Kyle Kowakian.